opposite end ones. Notably, a lot of the Ishtar games, we've been seeing a lot less of Ishtar, just kind of across the board in general. Played against Whoa. someone who's uh, is really skyrocket across. So still a little bit of favoritism towards that Hunter weekend. Kabrakin his time during the SPL kind of it. I don't think there's going to be a god or a god comp. going to know what to pick into this. It's going to be him, and it's going to be that King Arthur. It's because when I started playing Smite, that was oh. there. But be a, a, a potential run back here with everything a little bit harder to play here. So for the Valkyrie's composition, what's kind of the uh, the scaling of this? Comp what is going to come out of these soul laners? Do you expect to see some jungle focus over there as well? Well, junglers can certainly rotate through, and there's just on the field, but. I mean, I think one of the things that uh -oh, we saw, uh -oh. especially in that first set, hold that thought, Sam, under some pressure, taken out early, Hawk. Left-hand side, all of them have increased in value, and what's decreased is is the safe farm, right? They, they really want to reward these junglers for getting involved early in these small skirmishes. Yeah, you can even see that, that design pathos reflected on the map. You know, the, the side jungles around mid have now become much more enlarged spaces, allowing for lawyer might have a little bit less value as it's harder to lock down those paths. Pressure here from Sam. Maybe the first gank onto Julio. Gets a silence out early, but the damage has to come through. He's got a tank item and Kali's here as well. Johnny around the corner waiting for them to overcommit, but nobody has the damage in the tank. It'll just once again be that cooldown buff fought over on this right-hand side early, getting the soul laners involved. Man, Julio's going to pull slightly ahead here. Doesn't have to split as many waves as his direct opponent does. Reinitiation on Sam for soccer, and he's burning fast. Blink in, and the Fearless double a good peel there from Aquarius, but it may not be enough, and Sam for soccer earlier on. And might be going for this purple buff invade. Wowie here to back up the damage, and Sam is in the wings. If this turns into a major fight, it'll be about to secure onto the purple buff. Trying not to lose it, and it will be a steal onto the Valkyries. And it's going to turn into a fight. Forced into the Rama ultimate, and Sam is on the board. Picks up the support, and Kha'Zix has pulled it back safely closer to the tower. But it will be an early 2v2 and a blink in onto Spudio. He doesn't stand a chance. And the beads get burned as well. An interrupt. Crimson has been completely separated from his team. I'm not sure he can do this. No beads. And gets locked down early on. Forced down to 20% HP. Makes it under the tier 1 tower. And the Valkyries still have pressure on this beacon. Hex Mambo have to step back in if they want to contest this. But the abilities are on cooldown. And Erupt Crimson is still hanging around. But the teleport comes through. And the Lawbringer over the wall forces Hawk and Kha'Zix out. And they'll capture the beacon. The fight goes on. Sam for Soccer on the retreat. It's just a little bit of pepper dip. You know, people figuring out whether or not it's worth fighting over in first slot. How many procs of it do you need to find value? To be determined. Get double stun, double wall. Game. Double stun does right. They capture, but the dual lane members and Kha'Zix is trapped as is Spuddy with the body blocks. He can't get out, and the execute comes through. Sam grabs a double kill, but the rotation over may be in time, and Johnny and Hawk are in for a trade back. A third comes in as the soul laner rotates over, and this is the battle that Julio has chosen to come over from right lane, and they'll only... Mambo considering how strong their composition is come team fight phase. So plays like this, necessary for the Valkyries. Need to get active, need to keep asking difficult questions. Are you willing to defend this Pyromancer? Kha'Zix says yes, but Johnny's too low. It's gotta be perfect on this steal if they wanna take it away, but they'll hop off of it. And Gamma is in the leash radius, looking to secure up Crimson on the damage, but it's a full on engagement of the tanks have joined the fight as well. Sam into the air, looking for a target to CC, but everybody backs off, nobody wants to risk death here around this objective. And now it's Mambo that have picked it up instead. Good peel and Mambo take it away. And they may look for the fight after the fact, but all it in towards the Gold Fury. Keep my eyes on the soul laners. Aqua starting to work his way across the map. Blink in from Sam for soccer. Good silence. Will shut down the dash there. And a blink in from Aquarius forces the ult. So all of the tools onto Hawk early on in this fight will lose the home sweet home as a result. And the Valkyries have positioning around this Stygian beacon, but it'll turn into a 5v5 as the ADCs rotate over as well. And Kha'Zix has started off the fight as Aquarius on the other side is forced out, but Kha'Zix falls first. And Sam for Soccer's on the border up. Crimson taken down low by Julio, but Johnny in the back line still finding that health bar not enough for him to full on engage. And once again, the Valkyries have positioning. Man, Gamma just separates that fight so well. Julio 
is a Beyblade in the back line. Absolutely decimating Crimson. Wins out in the 1v1 up against Offense Maker. So if anyone's going to pull anything now, likely would be Hex Mambos. They've got the 1,000 true damage to their name. But otherwise, Baba Yaga. Okay, Potion Toss. If you're lucky, it's uh, got three. How's the steel look? Nobody quite doing that. So it's a reset. Once more, Hex Mambo. Look towards the objective now with two Rick Bombs in pocket. I mean, it's clear who's got the secure. On to the Gold Fury they go, and down to half HP it falls, but nobody willing to once again force a full-on fight here, at least until Julio captures Aquarius and a blink in from Gamma. The tanks are the ones under fire early on in the fight, and Hawk is forced into that home sweet home. It's only Aquarius knocked down to below half HP, and everybody from Hex Mambo still healthy as can be on this Gold Fury. It's going to be a hesitation if they want to pull in and contest this. Down to half HP and the teleport coming through. Aquarius is on his way back and he'll be here for the fight. They still have to find the pick if they want the space around this objective. And after that, after failing that first pick, they've left Johnny in the back line. Yeah, Johnny now has a very good flank here. Could catch anybody stepping forward. Crimson making up the front line as of now. While Johnny has kept his eyes on the... ...been talked about, but it's this third Stygian beacon that's now charging up once again. The Gold Fury may be fought over before it comes back, though, and it's down to half HP just from the Valkyries as the solo jungle is waiting in the wings on the right-hand side. Falling to 20%. They may look to try and contest this one. 50-50 coin flip. Mambo, take it away! And nobody has to lose any health on the other side. And That's why we haven't seen too many Gold Fury pulls, too many actual high-octane objectives. It's the ability to secure the fight afterward. Crimson dropped low. Shot shouldn't be enough to kill him, but can certainly send him back to base. Do Mambo keep up their aggression? Yes. It's yes. Makes room for this tier two dive, and Johnny finds his way into the back, still has the destruction, and Good makes Lord. it two, looking to make it three! Under the triple kill, and he'll jump in onto Wowie as well. Bit off more than he can chew, but it's a three, make it four for one for Hex Mambo as they flip the switch, and they may push down on this Phoenix as well. Wowie's got a back to base to get that health back. And they've got a minion wave and two runic bombs. They may even go for the end. Watch the wave, folks. They've got four versus one here onto the Titan. At 25 minutes, they've got to be careful. Wowie's damage could come through. And they're not burning it very not fast. Enough. They have to back off. And it'll just be the bird. You know, we had talked about it earlier. Just because you have a Kali, it does not guarantee you a late game win. But you forgot about the Johnny factor. This guy is just different. Jumps into the back line, separates the fight, secures the kill on the Crimson, keeps two at bay on his own, and at what felt like maybe the longest destruction of all time, finds immense value and two more to boot. Johnny is not allowed to play Kali throughout the regular phase, was not allowed to play it in the SPL, and for some reason here at Masters, the Valhalla Valkyries had forgotten that Johnny's signature pick, this Kali, is at an 83% win rate for good reason. The Valhalla Valkyries, grouped up significantly, perhaps could catch Hex Mambo on the reset here. Fire Giant's pulled, but Mambo's not far. They've got all five members here on the right-hand side, and Fire Giant down to 50% HP. They're committing to this one so far, and it's Aquarius looking for the zone on the front half of the fight. But Gamma starts it before he can get in, and a Lawbringer hits three, and they're with the damage on the back end. Erupt Crimson has it to follow up and jumps in onto Julio as Sam uh -oh, Soccer's uh -oh. into the back line. But the health bars, they're going the other way. Julio finds Gamma. He finds Wowie for the double in they take down three and erupt Crimson's in trouble as well. Aquarius, the only one, keeps them in the game, finding two there. But that may just be enough. They're going to try to push it down, I think. Yeah, that is a, a clear end call for me. You've already got minion waves start to leak in a base. 30 seconds on nearest respawn. And once more, it's the Valhalla Valkyries who I think are forced to make that decision. They have to take the fight around Fire Giant, knowing that if it were reset to neutral, if it were a long dance around Fire, poor map state, poor scaling of the late game would have come back to bite them. And so a good call, a good idea to try to catch Hex Mambo on the reset. Unfortunately for them, Hex Mambo just a bit too fast, and Johnny a bit too strong. Spudio puts out the damage this time, and a triple kill for him secures the win. Hex Mambo in two fights take game number one, and it felt like out of nowhere, right? We were waiting for the late game. We were waiting 
for this 30 minute, 40 minute mark for Johnny to get online. But you said it, Johnny Factor, just coming in, finding these flanks. That was maybe the key, not even the pick.